Now, most of you are probably already comfortable reading slates, but for some of you, this may still be a bit confusing. Either way, it's always helpful to have a quick refresher since each production will label their scenes and takes differently. Film slates provide quite a bit of useful information about each shot. They contain things like the camera roll, the scene number, the take, and some production information like the name of the movie, the production company, the director, the DP, and the shoot date. You're also probably going to see a handful of other pieces of information that some directors choose to include on the slate and others don't, such as the frame rate, time code, and shot specific information like whether it's an interior, an exterior, a day shot, or a night shot. So let's take a look at these three slates and review the labeling system used for our footage. In this first example, we have a shot from camera roll A14, scene 10B, and take one. So what's this tell us? Well, it tells us that this is the 14th roll, or batch, of footage shot with the A camera, and that it's the first take of scene 10B. We'll use this information to organize the shots in our bins a bit later in preparation for the editing process. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. All right, now in this second example, we have a shot that was filmed from the B camera on the set. You can tell that by the camera roll. This is the fifth batch of footage shot with the B camera, and it contains the sixth take of scene 10D. Many productions will use multiple cameras to capture the action from more than one angle as it's happening. This is really useful when you want to maintain really accurate continuity across various actions in the scene. So when you're cutting together two angles that were shot at the same time but by different cameras, you know that they're identical and they'll sync up perfectly since they're recordings of the same exact moment but from different angles. Okay. So in this last example, we have something that's actually a little bit confusing. The scene and take make sense, but the camera roll designation on the slate is weird. It says that this is the slate for both camera roll A25 and camera roll B11. What we have here is a slate that's serving dual purpose, as the slate for both an A camera and a B camera. So likely what happened here was that the A and B cameras were positioned fairly closely to each other and were capturing similar enough angles of the action that it made sense to have them both record the shot information from the same physical slate or clapperboard. You can see that if we load up the camera roll B listed on this slate, camera roll B11, it's obviously the same moment as camera roll A25. If these two cameras were in drastically different locations instead, there would have needed to have been two different slates being held by different people on the set, one for each of them. Slating the shots in this way with a dual purpose slate speeds things up sometimes and probably saves the director and crew some time on set, which is really important on an expensive production. Unfortunately though, for us editors, it can sometimes create a little bit of confusion. Hey there, for tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.